welcome back to Cycling Central Think, a combination of road racing and mountain biking with some steeplechase thrown in for good measure and you'll get cyclocross. The inaugural National Cyclocross Series hit Melbourne this month and here are some of the highlights from the opening weekend. It was a landmark weekend for Australian cycling, July 14 to 15, with Melbourne hosting the first two events in the inaugural Champion System SRAM Australian Cyclocross Series. Cyclocross, or CX as it's known, has a long history in the mudfields of Europe and has enjoyed spectacular success in the USA, but it's a relatively new phenomenon here in Australia. Cyclocross began um, as a way for the roadies in Europe to kind of keep fit over winter. So they'd take their road bikes out, modify them a bit and uh, go and run around in the, in the mud and the grass. The beauty of cyclocross is you're bringing racing to the people. You know, you're going to capital cities, you're going to parks, you're going to other venues. Uh, as opposed to road racing, they'll go and road race off for 200 k's and come back again. Or mountain bike races in some remote place. Cyclocross is traditionally in the big cities, which is uh, very exciting. Throughout the races, riders are forced to tackle various terrains, including pavement, grass, mud and sand. A cyclocross bike is probably more similar to a road bike. To most people it probably looks like a road bike in fact, but the tyres are just a bit wider and a bit of tread on them and the brakes are a bit different. The course is, um, I mean, anything from mud, sand, uh, stairs, you've put barriers in. It needs an all-round rider to be able to do everything. Obviously you need to be able to time trial, you need to be able to handle the muddy conditions, you need to be able to get over problems. You need to be able to push through the pain barrier because riding through sloppy wet grass, being able to get off and run and, and remount, um, it's all a skill you need to have to be able to finish and win cyclocross events. In the opening event at Melbourne International Karting Complex in Port Melbourne, the elite men and women took to a course that bore no resemblance to the one the under-19s B and C grade riders rode due to an icy downpour just an hour earlier, but it did little to dampen the enthusiasm of the diverse field tackling the one-hour race. Ingareki Commercial MTB Enduro winner Melissa Ansett and Subaru National Road Series star Lisa Jacobs went from the gun in the elite women's category, with the first two laps a close affair. Both women rode smooth, controlled races throughout, with Ansett's off-road skills keeping her in the mix as the interchanging conditions provided an ongoing challenge to the entire field. Despite being on her CX debut, Jayco Apollo VIS rider Jacob's top-end road fitness helped her pull away for the win ahead of Ansett and Gemma Koenig. I loved it actually, this is my first time on a cyclocross bike. I picked up her bike from Apollo last night and practiced my dismount <laughs> this morning and, and away we go. But I think it was quite kind to the roadies today. Yeah, it was good. Go! The men's elite field was stacked with 69 seated riders and headlined by Drapak road cyclist Lockie Norris, 2012 UCI Cyclocross Worlds competitor Lewis Ratray, accomplished mountain biker Andy Blair and former junior national MTB rep Luke Fetch. With the rain clearing and the sun poking through the dark clouds, a group of eight put daylight into a charging field by halfway through the first lap. However, on the hour mark, the different road surfaces and thick mud and wet grass began to take their toll on some of Australia's strongest riders, with the leading eight becoming just two. Adrian Jackson and search to retain Subaru NRS rider Luke Fetch pulled away from the field, with the unseated Fetch breaking away to win in front of a large crowd gathered in the shadows of Melbourne's iconic Westgate Bridge. With his family in attendance, Paul Rattenbach finished third after an epic battle with Rat Ray. I started from 50th on the grid, so I was a fair way down, and then um, I ended up going up the outside, got a really good start, and then sort of latched on the end, the, uh, the back of the league group guys, and uh, yeah, I guess managed to drop AJ and then yeah, come through for the win, so it was good. Yeah. So after the first round of the CX National Series, it's Lisa Jacobs out in front from Melissa Ransett and Gemma Kernich. And in the elite men's category, Luke Fetch came out first. Number two was Adrian Jackson, third, Paul Redenbach. 
On the Sunday, all eyes of the Australian CX scene turned to the picturesque Garavan Parklands in Melbourne's inner north. The weather was Melbourne to the max, with warm sunshine one minute, followed by freezing winds and rain the next, creating a tough, muddy course. By the time the women's elite field was ready to race, the crowd had grown to several hundred who, with cowbells in tow, were anxious to watch the women contest the slower course. The race quickly split with Saturday's dominant pair, Jacobs and Ansett, putting on another inspirational and big display, leaving the rest of the field in their wake. Despite this being just Jacobs' second cyclocross race, she hit the course like a seasoned pro, and her unbreakable rhythm saw her clear away for the win. Cyclocross is very new to me, but uh, yeah, I just like I wanted to be able to use my road road riding strengths, and and um, yeah, it worked out today. It was pretty muddy out there, um, but that made it made it made for some good fun riding. Um, there were some really good crowds that, that, you know, you go around the corner and there were people with cowbells and yelling and screaming. And Today was really tough, really hard, yeah, a very tough course, very difficult and fun and lots more people and cheering and, and I did have a bit of a stack and everyone was cheering so it was quite fun. <laughs> the elite men's race followed with hoots, heckles and of course more cowbells inspiring the field to put on one of the fastest starts ever seen at Dirty Deeds. After his stellar win on the Saturday, Luke Fetch was again expected to excel, but faced tough opposition from hometown favourites Lewis Ratray and Adrian Jackson. In the end, it was Jackson who soared to the front of the pack, leaving any competitors in his mud-spattered wake. Yeah, I didn't want to go too hard too early on because this is a really tough course. Um, lots of mud, really tough going, uh, really hard on the legs. So I just sort of deliberately saved a little bit of energy for the end and um, gave it all I had in the final three laps. Um, it was all still quite close, but um, we were to get two of us together out the front. And he was riding really strong early on, um, but maybe he was going a little bit too hard, I'm not sure. But um, in the final sort of third of the race, I was able to put a little bit of time into him and just held it to the end. So looking at the second race results on the Sunday, it was Lisa Jacobs victorious again from Melissa Ansett, Abity McSwan in third. And as for the elite men, it was Adrian Jackson in first from Lachlan Norris, third place going to Lewis Ratray. The next round in the National Cyclocross Series takes place in August from Port Adelaide in South Australia. We'll have all the highlights here on Cycling Central. And now to some local road racing.